What's up everybody? My name is Craig aka The Rock also known as The People Streamer and today I'm going to show you how to add your Call of Duty stats or Fortnite stats into your OBS or Streamlabs OBS. So it's super simple. I'm going to keep it, keep it real chill. Uh, let's start off by showing you my display capture. Now we're going to go into Google. We're going to type in tracker.gg. We're going to click the tracker network one. Then we're gonna go all the way up top where it says overlays right here at the top left. Then we're gonna click the big red button where it says create your overlay. Now we're gonna start off with Call of Duty, specifically Warzone. COD Warzone. Now variants, you have two options, the horizontal or boxed. Let's start off with the horizontal. Then we're gonna click search profile. Now this works for PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. It's completely up to you what platform you stream on or what game you stream with. For me, it's Xbox. So I'm going to go with The Rock, 7373. There it is. And boom, it shows my wins, levels, KD, and kills, right? Now let's switch over to the box banner. It's a little bit more smaller. The only difference is that it doesn't show your kills. Now again, it's completely up to your preference. Now, let's go back to the horizontal banner for this video and let's click save. Now up top, it shows the link. This is the link that you want to copy. So first off, go by highlighting it then press control C to copy. And we're going to go right back into OBS. We're going to go into our sources and click the plus sign. Then we're going to click browser. Let's call it card tracker. Now, we're gonna click OK for now and pull away this big blue box. Let's make it a lot smaller. And then we're gonna go right back into it, into the sources that says Cloud Tracker, double click it. And we're gonna delete the URL. Then we're gonna press Control V to paste the URL that we got from before. Also, don't forget to scroll down to the bottom. Right here, this little box, make sure you click it that says Refresh Browser Team when it becomes active. That way, every single time you get a win, it updates naturally and click OK. So there it is, it pops up. Now me personally, I like to take it a step a little further where I wanna make it a little bit more cleaner. So what I do, I double click the card tracker and I change the width and height. I change the width to 550 and I change the height to 75. Then I click OK. And then I put it underneath you can put it anywhere. Like, let me take out my display capture for a second. You can put it like underneath the bottom, the top, it's up to you. You wanna put it down here, you wanna drag it. That's completely up to you. So for this video, I'm just gonna put it underneath my camera and my social media over overlay. Let's make it a little tighter. And voila, that's it for Call of Duty stats. Now, we're gonna try the Fortnite stats now. So let me pull up my display capture again. Let's go back. So what I wanna do, I wanna like refresh the scene. You can do it two ways. You can either click the overlays or you can click the, the refresh page. Me, I'm gonna make it a little bit more simpler. I'm gonna click the overlay and then click the create new overlay so the whole thing becomes uh, clean. Choose game this time. Let's go into Fortnite. And when it goes to variant, again, you have two choices. You have the box or um, lifestyle. Lifetime? Lifetime? Yes, lifetime. <laughs> uh, box, let's click that. And then we're gonna go to search profile. Remember, search for your epic name. My epic name is The Rock7373. And ta-da, there it is, right? Now, the lifetime stats, it looks a little bit different. So choose your own version, choose whichever one you like. I'm gonna go back with the box horizontal version. Then we're gonna click save changes. And once again, it pops up top. You're going to select it, Control C for copy. And then we're going to run all the way back to OBS. Go back into the browser, click the plus. Go back into the sources, click the plus, and then click the browser. This time we're going to call this Fortnite Tracker. And then click OK. Once again, we're going to click OK for, again. We'll put the box out of the way, make it a little bit smaller. We're gonna double click Fortnite Tracker. We're gonna delete the URL. Then we're gonna paste the one that we have. 
we're gonna change this to well, well we'll leave that alone for now because we you have to play with it to see where you want to cut off with and also don't forget to leave a uh, refresh browser click that little box and click ok and there it is guys there's a fortnite sass you can drag it down now once again i like to take it a little step further um i'm gonna put down the height to 75 maybe Boom. and then you can put it anywhere you want i think for the width for this one it wouldn't be that much of a change you'll probably put it down to let's try 700. and there it is yeah Boom, it shows you kills, wins, everything right here. And then just to take off my display capture so I can show you what it looks like. Boom. There you go, guys. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Also, I stream on every platform, okay? Facebook, Twitch, Mixer, DLive, and YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, guys. Cheers.